The amount of money Americans owe on their credit cards dropped to its lowest level in nearly a decade as we keep an eye on our economy, your future. Recent numbers show Americans are carrying the least amount of debt, credit card debt that is, since 2002. But is it necessarily a sign people are paying off more or the economy is turning around? Fox 11's Cameron Clark has more. In what's still an uncertain economy, some people are being careful with the plastic. So many times that you want to be able to go shopping after you just get a new job and you know though that you can't. Especially being laid off prior to my, to my new job, I, I definitely am very careful about how much I spend and making sure that I can pay the payments. The most recent numbers show the average amount of credit card debt has dropped below $5,000. That's down 13% from the same time last year and the lowest since 2002. There's a couple things going on. The first thing is they are using their credit cards less. We're seeing that. But the vice president of Pioneer Credit Union says that's only half the story. He says while the economy has curbed discretionary spending, it's also hampered people paying back the credit card companies, as can be seen by the increased number of bankruptcy filings. We were down as a country about $90 billion in balances, but 80 billion of that was charged off, which means the consumer didn't pay that off. The credit card, the major credit card companies are writing that off. Joe Slattery also says a drop in people being delinquent on their credit cards may also be a result of at-risk customers not currently getting credit. You got to be real careful. It looks like we're doing so much better, but when you have 10% unemployment and people are stretched thin, Getting that kind of reduction in debt, there's more to it than usually meets the eye. While some say they've been tightening the belt. I don't go shopping just for no reason anymore. Whether lower credit card debt will put a charge into the economy. It's still a function of the economy, but you can't just say all things are hunky-dory now. It's still transaction pending. Cameron Clark, Fox 11 News. Banks and credit unions have also seen a large spike in deposits, but Slattery with Pioneer says part of that is people who are laid off moving 401ks and other investments to their savings accounts. 